Good day, dear ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second tutorial on how to create PDF documents with the programming language Java. So, the last tutorial we were importing the uh, iText library, and so in this tutorial we're going to use this library to create our first document. How exciting is that? So, let's get started. First of all, we have to import a couple of classes. So it's exactly three classes we have to import from the iText library. So the first class is going to be the com.itextpdf.text.document and the document class is going to be the basis of our document because well like it says it's it's the document. So, the second thing we're going to need to create our document is the com.itextpdf.text.paragraph. And guess what we can do with the paragraph? We can put some content in there and then add it to the document. Alright, and the last thing we need to import from the itext library is the com.itextpdf dot text dot what was it um pdf dot pdf writer so those are the three classes we have to use to create our pdf document and last but not least we have to save our document on the hard drive and for that we have to use a class from the java library so I'll say import java.io, so IO stands for input output, and the class is called the file output stream. So you have to import java.io.file output stream. All right, so now that we have everything imported, let's start with the program. Inside of the PDF class, I'm going to create the main method. So I'll say public static void main string args um, and curly braces open enter so that's going to be the uh, the starting point of our program so as soon as we execute the program everything in here is getting executed and so the first we thing we want to have executed is we want to create our document. So we'll all we have to say is document and give it a name like document equals to new document. And that is already our document. All right. So next uh next comes the most conf confusing part of the tutorial. So you have to type in um what was it pdf writer dot get instance and it's going to ask for uh two separate values so the first value is going to be the document name which is of course our document and the second thing is going to be the uh output stream and for that we have imported the file output stream so so we can say new file output stream and as a parameter, the file output stream asks for a string. So the string is going to be the file name. And I'm going to name my file super awesome or awesome document.pdf. So that should work. And the whole thing is red underlined because. Oh, right. So you can click right here with surround with try catch, or you can simply do uh, in front of the PDF writer try, and after the PDF writer uh, close the curly braces and say catch exception e, then just print out the stack trace of the error message. So 
uh, if you don't know what's happening in there, we need a try block because uh, it's not always working to save data on our hard drive because as you know, hard drive uh, space is limited. So if the program can't find any memory to put our document in, it's going to throw an error and it's going to say tell us what happened. So that's what this um, uh, this line does. So it just tells us what happened if something went wrong, which we of course don't want to happen. So now that we have created our document, let's open it up. So we can say document dot open. And once our document is, o is opened, we can do everything to it. So we can put text in it, we can put short stories, pictures, footnotes, headnotes, page numbers, authors, and so on. Everything you could imagine can you, uh, you can put in there as soon as the document is opened. So what do we want to put in there? Um, let's just start with a simple text. And to put text in there, we have to create a paragraph. So all you have to say is paragraph, and I'll just call it paragraph because we only have one, equals to new paragraph. And then to get some content to the paragraph, all you have to say is paragraph dot add. And as a parameter, we can put it in a string. So I'll just say this is super awesome, like that. And once we have created our doc, uh, our paragraph, we can add it to our documents. So we can say document dot add, and it asks for an element and our paragraph. Luckily, is an element. So now that we have added our content into the document, the only thing left to do is closing the document. So we have to say document dot close. All right. So that's basically it. Let's see what it looks like when we create our document for the first time. So we don't get any error messages, which is very good. And if I just right click on the PDF um, the project and then go to refresh, ooh, there's a new document. And I think that one isn't supposed to be there. Sorry, that was my problem. But, ooh, that, that might be our document. So let's open it up and let's see what's in there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. man, this is super awesome. Yeah, that's the right way to pronounce it. This is super awesome. Okay, so that, <laughs> yeah, that's basically how you create a very simple uh, PDF document. You know, just create a document, uh, make sure to have a uh, to have a space, some space to put the document in our hard drive, and then after that, the basics are just open the document, put everything you want in there, and then close the document. It's done. So that's the second tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to keep it up. I had a lot of great suggestions and a lot of great support from all of you guys. I'm really happy about that. So thanks for doing that. I uh, really appreciate it. And of course, I hope to see you in the next tutorial again. Thanks. Bye.